Good morning. Welcome to Showbiz here on the AM Show. In our stories this morning, UK-based Ghanaian musician Fuse ODG has called for the legalization of prostitution in the country. In a recent interview on the Cosmopolitan Mix on Joy FM, the musician explains uh, to the host, Mamavio Sabwaji, that his new song also basically talks about sex workers in Ghana and the need to protect their rights. You better pay all your this, this song, this, this song came to me mm -hmm. on the spiritual da da da. <laughs> Do you hear me? And then now I'm learning. Now I'm learning about about this world, and I've been reading a lot about it. And okay. it's about time that we actually started standing up for our women in every sector. You feel you'd win this because this is in our criminal books. It's it's, it's 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 not easy to change something that, and especially with our society. But it's possible. It's definitely possible because there's human beings in charge of it. So why not? It's possible. It's not anything that's out of our control. So you want us to legalize it? Can we? Get like a, yes, a straight, yes, yes, no? yes, I would say yes. Legalize prostitution here in Ghana. <laughs> legalize, you know how that sounds, right? Legalize the work that these women are doing to protect them because I feel like they deserve protection because it's their body, it's your body. You're saying that you, you, you. you uh, are you saying sex is sex? You're saying sex is not wrong, right? Me, I'm not judging you. You're not you judging. Are doing the See, Ghana, I, so, just want, I, just I feel like Ghanaians are so scared to nah, talk about no, no, sex. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Disease is spreading around. Every night living fast, but dying slowly. She never sleeps alone, but always lonely. Away from Fuse, Scooter Braun has seemingly responded to his ongoing drama with Taylor Swift. After Swift publicly decried Braun and Big Machine label head Scott for allegedly blocking her from uh, performing her old song at the upcoming American Music Awards this weekend, the producer shared an interesting message on Instagram. Here is all we know. Why you gotta be so mean? On Tuesday, the 38-year-old music exec shared a message on Twitter that seems to allude to his ongoing beef with the pop star over the rights to her older music. Do not let anything stop you from making art. Scooter posted this pic reading, kindness is the only response, alongside the message, words to live by. Yeah, so the post comes amid new developments in his feud with Taylor, which was reignited last week after she claimed that Scooter, Scott Borchetta, and Big Machine Records, her former label, were preventing her from performing her old songs at the 2019 American Music Awards. <sighs> it's, it's just unbelievable. At the time, Taylor shared this lengthy message on social media in which she claimed that any recorded events she's planning to play until November 2020 was in limbo. At no point did we say Taylor could not perform on the AMAs or block her Netflix special. A man does something, it's strategic. A woman does the same thing, it's calculated. A man is allowed to react, a woman can only overreact. Taylor, the narrative you have created does not exist. Oh damn, them fighting words. Uh, Meanwhile, Justin Bieber came out in support of Scooter, who we should mention is his longtime manager. On Monday, Big Machine Label Group released another statement insisting that they and Dick Clark Productions have come to terms on a licensing agreement that approves their artists' performances to stream post-show and for rebroadcast on mutually approved platforms. This includes the upcoming American Music Awards performance. But shortly after that statement was released, East, Dick Clark Productions told ET in a statement, quote, at no time did Dick Clark Productions agree to create, authorize, or distribute a statement in partnership with Big Machine Label Group regarding Taylor Swift's performance at the 2019 American Music Awards. Any final agreement on this matter needs to be made directly with Taylor Swift's management team. Yeah, there's more mm. showbiz in our subsequent bulletins. I know. I don't really understand what the problem is between oh, those two. Oh, they've been you know? going back and forth. Yeah. That's why it's the drama. We're just keeping you updated. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> all right. Okay, then. So, l listen, did you know that sub-Saharan Africa has the worst health on average in the world? Although the region has 11% of the world's population, it carries a disappointing 25% of the global disease burden. A quarter 
of global diseases. Yeah. Mm. So listen, join the Multimedia Group and the Commonwealth to discuss how we can change this narrative at the Commonwealth Speakers Series. Uh, what are the problems, the challenges, and the solutions to Africa's healthcare provision and systems? The venue is the British Council here in Accra on the 26th of November, and it starts at 5 p.m. Uh, health partner is Luca Health. Uh, medical Specialty Centre. Uh, media partner is the Multimedia Group. And of course, supporters are Premier Health Insurance and Yox Rent a Car. Uh, send health questions for the speaker series to join 99.7 FM or uh, the RCS Africa. All right? Okay then. That was fun, That's wasn't it? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. We'll Let's do tomorrow. it again tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bye. okay.